Are we going insane? Are we going crazy? Are we going mad? I, I just think, why do I go... I go to this website called the like, www.rightwingwatch. Um, it's, a, it's very liberal, and their purposes are to discredit Christianity, I believe. But I like to see, it's always good to see what the enemy is thinking. And the problem is, the right are giving them ample, ample fodder. Uh, the religious right are giving them ample fodder to paint Christianity in a bad light. Um, like there's this whole, whole thing in this Take Back America, how to stop socialism and healthcare. Um, Huntun representing the APS, which is the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons. Um, argue that any governmental interference in the practice of health care is unconstitutional and um, and uh, Dr. Alan Unruh uh, said uh, is comparing um, Obama's health care plan uh, to slavery and Rosenblum who is a member of Oregon Right to Life um, again compared Obama to Adolf Hitler if it was wrong when MoveOn.org and the left compared Bush to Hitler, which I wasn't one of those, why is it okay for them to do it to Obama? It's, the answer is it's not. And, and the thing is, like saying fascism is happening here and now, It's not about health care, it's about subjugation control. Obama's not stupid, I'm sorry, but he's just evil. I'm afraid this might lead to an assassination attempt, but let's look at uh, the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons. It's a right wing uh, think medical think tank. And uh, they started in the 1940s fighting against Medicare and Medicaid, fighting against helping the others, helping the less fortunate. They believe health care is not a right. The people should be allowed to buy health care, but if they can't afford it, it's not a right. That's pride, greed, and selfishness all rolled into a tiny, nice little package. Let's look at some of uh, the other things in uh, their journal of American Physicians and Surgeons that they argued for. Um, the Food and Drug Administration and Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services are unconstitutional. If that, that is, we would have had the, um, we, there needs to be oversight because otherwise we wouldn't be eating safe food. We're still not eating safe food. But they just like Michelle Bachman, just like, just like Price, they're against the FDA. Uh, that HIV does not cause AIDS. And I just, I'm sick and tired of people who, who basically, I mean, maybe it's not a right. Maybe it's not con a constitutional right. But it's not Christian. It's not in the keeping of Jesus Christ. It's not in the keeping of what we're supposed to do as members and servants of God and in the kingdom. It's not. Would the Good Samaritan oppose Medicare? Would the Good Samaritan say that health care, you can't afford it? Uh, you can't afford insurance? Um, I'm just going to leave you back by the side of the road. This pharisaical, selfish, prideful, enemies of God. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I can't say what God, but I mean, reading the prophets, reading Jesus' words, I mean, how can you not hate 
selfishness? How can you not hate greed? How can you not hate that people are dying needlessly? I mean, I agree with them on abortion. I believe that it's a shame that babies are dying needlessly. But they don't care that adults are dying needlessly. They don't care. They're not pro-life. They're anti-abortion, but they're not pro-life. And so, there is big business, there is big pharma, there is big medical, and I don't want big government in place of that, but I do want government Keeping big, gov big government, big business, big medical, big pharma in check. Just so that those who would fall through the cracks would not fall through the cracks. So I have to ask you, Dr. Huntoon. I have to ask you, Rosenblum. I have to ask you, Dr. Anwar. Do you have no compassion? Do you have no compassion for those that are oppressed, for those that are needy, for those that are sick, for those that are dying? Do you have no compassion? Because I don't think you do. And you are spreading hatred and vitriol, not trying to, maybe you are afraid that this does steer kind of too much to government control. Then say, then say, um, no, we don't want a government option, but what, but what we do want is checks and balances. What we do want is government oversight, but they don't want government oversight. They don't want, they would be happy that insurance companies do whatever they please, it seems to me, because they don't believe health care is all right. And I'm sick of this. I am sick of this. I mean, I, I am sick of living in a world where people don't care about their fellow man. I mean, and a year ago, I thought that was all that the world is. Thankfully, God opened my eyes and showed me a church that truly is part of God's church. And I'm not saying that the Presbyterians are the only, only true church. I mean, there are true Methodists. Uh, there are um, true Catholics. There are true, um, there are true Christians in every denomination. But... You can tell them by their fruits. A bad tree does not make good fruits, and a good tree does not provide bad fruits. And this organization, the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons, they seem to be a bad tree to me. As does this Take a Back America conference, they, and the Eagle Foundation. They seem to be bad trees. Trees that have got so wrapped up with Pride, greed, selfishness, that they lost the love of God. They lost, they can't see the forest for the trees. I don't know, sometimes I don't know why I do these videos. I mean, I don't know if I'm doing anything or changing anything. I mean, it's not me. I mean, I don't know if the Holy Spirit is working through me. Let me say this, I don't know, I don't know if it's just me or I'm just some crazy crackpot. But I just feel like I need to do this. I need to speak out. I need to speak truth to power. I need to say, this is wrong. Is anyone home? We are going toward an abyss here. And you guys think you're on the side of angels, but you're not. Look at your fruit and look at what you're doing. And look, you are a rallying cry among the secular uh, Humanist. You are rallying cry along the left, along the atheists, the Bill Moores, the Hitchens, trying to show there is no God. Look, they follow their God. They don't care about their fellow man. They're greedy, they're selfish, they're prideful. No, there is no God. And then those who might be of weaker faith agree, follow them, and get swept up by the evil one. But you are swept up by the evil one as well. When you do not act in God-like faith, and you do not act as Jesus commanded us. God bless.